Welcome to the Bonnev Lab, where our biomembrane NMR lab, and among the others, our research focuses on membrane proteins and membrane environments, antimicrobials, quorum sensing, high performance computing, and interactions of hydrophilic organic molecules with membranes. In this series of short videos, we will show you various aspects and applications of solid state magic angle spinning NMR, and of course, how to use it. It is not normally possible to obtain high resolution spectra from solids, but magic angle spinning allows us to do exactly that. The recording of high resolution spectra from solids requires sample rotation at high speeds at an angle of 54.7 degrees with respect to the external magnetic field. This is called the magic angle. In order to do MAS NMR, the sample needs to be rotated at high speed about the magic angle, and to do this, we need to load the sample into a special rotor. So today, we'll show you how to pack and unpack a solid state rotor using a solid sample. The 4mm rotor is made of zirconium oxide and can spin up to 18 kHz. The rotor sleeve itself is complemented by a drive tip, a bottom sample spacer and a top cap. Other accessories include a sample packer and depth indicator, a top cap extractor tool, an opening tool and a loading tool. To start assembling, insert the bottom spacer into the rotor sleeve. Insert the brown tip into the sleeve by rotating it with the aid of an opening tool until you can no longer see light passing through between the tip and the sleeve. If you struggle to insert the drive tip into the sleeve, you can also use liquid nitrogen to carefully dip the drive tip and the sleeve. The low temperature of the nitrogen will make the cap ever so slightly smaller so that it can fit inside the sleeve. Please be aware of the hazards associated with the handling of liquid nitrogen. If you're not a trained user, please seek assistance from someone who is properly trained. Then use the sample packer to push the bottom sample spacer down until it touches the drive cap. It is important for the bottom spacer to be right at the bottom of the rotor in order for the sample to spin properly. To prepare for loading a solid sample, you need loading tool, sample packer, empty rotor, a small spatula and of course your sample. Place the empty rotor into the loading tool, tip down. Add a small amount of sample and use the sample packer to push the sample all the way down to the bottom of the rotor and make sure it is tightly packed. Repeat this until the rotor is fully loaded. The groove on the sample packer indicates how much you can fill the rotor to leave space for the top spacer. If you add too much sample, you will need to remove some so that you don't see past the recess of the packer. After loading your sample, place the top cap into the sleeve and push it down until it is in line with the sleeve. Before you insert the rotor into the NMR spectrometer, draw a black line covering approximately half of the rim using a black permanent marker. This will act as a laser mark and allow the spectrometer to correctly detect spinning. To unpack the rotor, screw the top cap extractor onto the top cap. Now pull the, the cap extractor until you remove the top spacer. 
Spinning at high speeds makes samples very tightly packed, so use this golden scraper to loosen the sample and tap the rotor to retrieve it. Use the opening tool to remove the drive tip by twisting it. Once again, it can help to use liquid nitrogen. Now insert the sample packer at the bottom of the rotor and push upwards. Your sample will come out from the top of the rotor before the bottom spacer. You can either discard your sample or collect it back into an Eppendor for, for future experiments. To clean the components, immerse the rotor, the top cap and the bottom sample spacer into water if the sample is water soluble or use some ethanol. Take them out and dry them using some tissue paper. Remember, you should never use any metal object to clean or handle the rotor as they will scrape the rotor and therefore damage it.